Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad. Hold on, let me sort this out. Just adjust that there. Welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad. Today I'm going to be doing a Rivington and Thornbridge collaboration beer. This is called Clear Fog. This is a West Coast IPA at 6%. There it is. No, I don't like the camera angle. It's still, so I stand. I need to have a box around the head. Just better yes <clears throat> west coast ipa six percent um this is a new fog beer um part of rivington's um little fog never known fog like it double fog we now have clear fog um i've got the full fog seas series season series uh, i've got the new 2024 editions in my fridge ready to review probably going to be the same as last year and the year before but it's always worth a go because you never know could be completely different uh, but anyway we're getting into this one it's a vegan friendly beer and the guff on the back says combining Thornbridge's Jayapa I think that's how it's pronounced with our flag be flagship beer never know never known fog like it we've created the first ever clear fog with our mates from Thornbridge Brewing in celebration of fog's seventh birthday this is a West Coast IPA hop with Chinook Mosaic, Centennial, Citra Cryo, and Simcoe. So, 7th edition. There, it also says that there. 7th uh, edition of Fog. That's mental. I didn't realise it's been going on that long. I thought it'd only been like maybe 3 4 years. Anyway, no other guff on the can that's needed. So, let's crack it open, see what we've got. Hopefully, this will be nice for a day like today. Sun is out, it's touching 20 degrees. Summer's on the way, you can tell, um, and you need something to just cool down and relax to. I've got my Evil Dead glass, because the only Rivington glass uh, I've got, Evil Dead ones. Wow, that is not what I was expecting, but there's the beer. We have an almost crystal clear beer. I can see the other half of the glass. There you go, you can see it. Uh, almost crystal clear beer, looks almost like a lager, gold colour with a... Off white compact head looks nice, looks refreshing. Let's get a smell, see what we get, shall we? I can't really do that, so it smells quite hoppy actually. Before I get it on my nose, stone fruits, pine. Mangoes, a little bit of passion fruit. It smells nice. It smells fruity. It smells hoppy. Let's get a mouthful for the bogging cup. Bodies light, like medium. Carbs like medium. <coughs> um, it's refreshing. It's crisp. It's perfect for a day like this. I'm really thirsty. This is... Oh, it's a 500ml can as well. Like all Rivington beers. Um, so you pay a little extra, but you do get a little extra as well. Um, yeah, I've had next to nothing to drink today, so I'm really thirsty. Um, let's go for a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. good that's on the bitter side piney resinous pithy quite bitter uh, not overly bitter but it's got a nice bitter punch to it um, it's fruity mangoes stone fruits passion fruit a little bit of guava and it is just yeah it's really on the bitter <coughs> sorry like I said, the... Oh, hey, Christ, I'm full of it today. Um, yeah, it's on the piney, bitter, resinous, pithy side. But you do get a little bit of fruit come through. So most of the flavours I've described are... Oh, it's really gassy. Um, are throughout the whole beer. Then you eat your fruits, your mango, your stone fruits, a little bit of passion fruit. Um, they do come through, they sort of come in peaks and valleys, you know. 
get hits of mango and then it goes away and you get passion fruit and it goes away and you get stone fruits and go away um but they don't really overtake the flavor of the pine the bitter the resin the the pithy the dank flavors it doesn't overtake any of that they sort of try but then can't get enough sweetness and enough fruit through but you still just get this nice little bit of mango like a little teaser basically like, here's a hint of mango enjoy here's a bit of uh, passion fruit, enjoy. Here's a bit of stone fruit, enjoy. But you've still got the rest of the flavour to uh, compete with. It's nice. It's a good, good beer. I really enjoy it. Oh, I just need it. I just needed that. Right, I'm going to go away and enjoy this. I've still got about half a pint left. That in a beer garden would be really really good i hope you know what? i do hope chain house get it i'm going to chain house this weekend um and i do hope that they get some in on tap because chain house is probably one of the better places at the minute i think to drink wide open doors sit down you don't need to worry it's chill it's nice there's no dickheads in there got no you know piss heads you know trying to cause trouble none of that it's just a nice chill place to drink get good beers like this i hope it's on tap if it's not oh well but if it is i'm going to be on this all over it so like i said going away and enjoying it uh rivington and thornbridge clear fog you can actually tell it's a thornbridge uh collaboration it reminds me of jayper is that how i pronounce jayper jayper i don't know it does remind me of that beer i have had it i've had it on tap i've had it on cans i've had it in bottles oh hello yeah, I've had that beer quite a lot. It's there when you go to beer expos. It's there when you go to the pubs and they try and have craft stuff on. Whoa, do you want to come say hello? Come here. Whoa, do you want to say hello? Ah, not saying hello? No? I'll leave you. Arr, there. Unless you don't want to? Nope, on the couch. Um, yeah, it reminds me of uh, Thornbridge. It does have that style to it. It's a very unique flavour Thornbridge have not that Rivington don't but you know when you just you know you know it's somewhere that's what it reminds me it does remind me of Jaipur 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 <coughs> pardon me but yeah it does remind me of that it's just Rivington styled Rivington fired anyway I mean I'm I'm gonna go enjoy it so, Rivington Thornbridge Clear Fog at 6%, West Coast IPA out of 10, it's a solid 8 out of 10. It's nice, it's refreshing, it's crisp, it's good for a day like this. Summer's rolling around, get yourself a can. Go to the tap rooms, if they have more than one, I think they do. Go to the tap rooms, enjoy it, take a nice day out. Bank holiday weekend soon, well now. So, just go and enjoy it, have one. It's, yeah, it's nice. So, uh, if you've had this before... Please let me know, let me know what you think, if you like it. If you don't, if you've not had it, I will leave a link to Rivington and Thornbridge's website down below. I never thought I'd see a Thornbridge-Rivington collab, but hey-ho, here we are. And it's impressive, it's nice, because I'm not a big fan of Thornbridge. I'm just not. But like I say, whenever somewhere tries to get crafty, they get Thornbridge in. And it's always Jaipur, Jaipur, whatever you call it. It's always that beer. So I see it everywhere, I've had it everywhere. I'm just, I, I'm just not overly a fan of them anyway eight out of ten if you've had it before uh please let me know let me know if you like it if you don't if you've not had it uh clouds water uh not clouds water clear fog rivington thornbridge this beer if you've had this one before please let me know let me know if you like it if you don't if you've not had it i'll leave links to both of their websites down below like i said i got mine from the market bottle shop um i don't much cost i just seen th fog and collected the like collectors coins for me cards pokemon traders I should get them all. Um, but yeah, get go market bottle shop, say hello, pick one up. Uh, if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on, etc. etc. So on and so forth. And I'll see you later.